walked down this road so many times I can't even remember. And there used to be a cross sign that said Hughes because this is Hughes Road. None of this crap used to exist. But you can see there's fields, strawberry fields. I used to go to that school back when it was called Sasaquetas. 2004, they changed it to Alianza. Went there from, I believe, 1987, beginning of my kindergarten year, all the way to, oh, was it um, 1993 or whatever, fifth grade, 92. I have to do the math, but I used to walk here all the time with my brother. He's five years old, he was you know, eight, nine years old. He was actually technically nine. He was three and a half years my senior. My mom would stay over there. Actually, she would be in front of that sliding glass door looking down at us. When uh, Nick and Sebastian moved in here with their mom, I did the same thing for a while. When I was uh, on days I didn't work and for periods where I, I couldn't work, because there were some of those as well. I remember watching Nick. And for me, I used to always walk on this side of the road here, and I'd cross over to where those oak trees are, and then I would cross the street afterwards. Nick crossed on this side of the road, and then crossed again. I remember, because I saw him run across a couple times, like, what's he doing? You know, like, but we don't want him walking this side because all the idiots that work up, or used to work up at the now shut down greenhouse, um, they drive like crazy people during the lunch hour and in the morning. They they just they drive like idiots. That's how it was. But yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed going to the, going to the school. I enjoyed much of my life being able to walk down here and just kind of relive good memories. It was a good school. Um, it's a really good school. Michael a month ago was playing with these. There was ladybugs in them. It's like, buddy, let's go. Let's go walk down to the school. He's like, I want ladybugs. Because he loved those things. When I was five years old, some friends called the Stanleys used to live at that house. The Contreras used to live here. Phil Contreras was our friend. He was about two years my senior, one year younger than Josh. Small guy, though. But yeah, Chris Stanley, I remember this was a wire fence. I remember hopping over at one time to go play with him in his yard. When his mom saw me, I, I, I jumped over it like a monkey. These oak trees, this, this is not so old, but those two are pretty old. They used to be smaller, of course. But yeah, yeah, the dad, Nathan, he totally, he did a lot of work on this house before he sold it a few years back. He was always working on it with a tractor, I remember. But, but yeah, basically Nick, Nick would cross the street over here. I believe he crossed it here. I could kind of see it for some reason from all the way up top, even despite the trees. He crossed here and then he crossed over here. So I'm running across twice, unless he was running across here and then running across the driveway because all the buses were here. Could have sworn it was here on this uh Man, I miss Casterly Road. This is such a beautiful place. Yeah, this is Alianza. It used to be Salsa Puedes. Part of that sign is the original sign from back in the old days. A lot of good memories. Well, when I was a kid, my friend Marshall, he uh, moved in across the street from my mom and my next door neighbor who bought the house, well, originally my friend Clayton Trainer used to live there. And we used to walk to school together. That's back when our parents were still friends. Before the dad went and, you know, I'll be nice and say he kind of messed that up. So, with uh, his own behavior of whatever. But Clayton and I used to walk up the street together and... I can't remember if we were on this side of the road or this side of the road. I think we were on this side of the road. And Marshall, his first day living in the neighborhood, he was looking at us. He was kind of shy. 
He looked over at us and he had a, this kind of like vinyl leather jacket thing. It was kind of cool looking. Quaint look at him going, whispering to me going, he thinks he's all bad. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, just, just like, you know, kind of going along with it. The next day, his mom kind of pulled us aside and said, uh, well, asked us, you know, hey, do you, um, I have a Sunday Marshall. He's kind of, uh, he's kind of shy. You know, you guys want to be friends with him. I met him and, and instantly we became like best friends for many years. Just on the other day, unfortunately, he's been on meth almost as long as I've been married. So about just over six years, he's been addicted to meth. So I spent four hours in the Safeway parking lot, hanging out with him, chatting uh, two nights ago. And that may be the last time I ever talked to him. Uh, but love the guy, had a lot of good memories. A lot of good memories walking up the street, had a lot of friends. Well, Bomba Lane is like the next little side street over. Richie Valens' his baby brother owns a house there. And his son, Mario, I used to play with a lot. We used to hang out all the time. But uh, yeah, had a pretty good childhood in this neighborhood. Yeah, Marshall's mom used to rent this house here and it was full of horses. She, wrote, she had a business in the Yellow Pages called the Pony Express. Kids would uh, have birthday parties and she would she basically host the party so they can ride horses so 